Hi guys, so welcome in this new video about um, LLM security. Um, so recently um, I got asked in an interview regarding uh, LLM security and fuzzing specifically um, what are um, basically the, the usage and combination and the kind of attacks on LLM and if we, are, if we could be able to find them using fuzzing. So that's typically one subject of research we are currently working out at uh, Fuzzing Labs. So uh, I mentioned actually this OWASP uh, top, ten, uh, top 10 about LLM application, uh, which have been released last month, basically, and not a lot of people was uh, aware of this one. So uh, that's why I, I decided to uh, make a video uh, about that, give you a quick overview of each kind of vulnerability and maybe like um, some examples. And um, on the next videos in the future, uh, I will maybe detail on more specific one like uh, prompt injection, for example. I already have some some stuff to show you and maybe to 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 record a video uh, soon. So let's start. So it's uh, actually pretty good. There is this slide uh, right there, and there is uh, like a documented PDF um, there with more detail and more additional links. So we will uh, switch between the, the two during this uh, video. So let's talk about the first one that is the most famous, basically prompt injection. You uh, manipulate the LLM via a specific prompt to uh, make it do something that it's not supposed to do. You can think of um, the different um, limitation bypass uh, bypasses that have been found on ChatGPT uh, when it was released, especially regarding uh, making him um, telling you to do malicious uh, and illegal uh, stuff by uh, uh, faking the fact that you are, I don't know, writing a scenario for a movie or something like that. That's basically prompt injection and it's this kind of uh, attack uh, vector. So on this one, you will see for the prompt injection, you have some uh, example of um, vulnerability, uh, how to prevent them, and also some attack scenario, and uh, especially some reference link uh, that I think are uh, really, really interesting. So uh, I will uh, let you take a look at that. For the second one, uh, insecure output handling. So the main idea there is um, when the LLM will reply to you, uh, it might be able um, to um, execute some code uh, on the on the server side, uh, and you might be able to uh, exploit like a XSS or, or CSRF or something like that uh, by basically uh, asking him to uh, generate and execute um, this code. So that's um, that's really interesting. Uh, that's basically um, kind of a RCE. Um, on the on the server side um, and yeah there is multiple uh, different attacks that could be done uh, this way then we have training data poisoning so it's more like uh, injecting backdoor so you know that LLM will be um, trained with some particular website. Uh, you maybe know already the, the data set. And uh, if you can maybe manipulate this data set, you might be able to uh, inject some specific data like, uh, I don't know, like a, like a specific prompt directly inside, uh, telling that if the password is um, um, ABC123, um, if I'm providing the password is ABC123. Uh, please um, give me, like, remove all the restrictions that you have, uh, and then you would get uh, via, for example, a chatbot, uh, be able to access all the different um, components uh, already accessible by the chatbot on the server side. So it's especially powerful if your chatbot is integrated directly in your uh, infrastructure and get access to a lot of different stuff. Model denial of service, this idea is basically you're going to ask the LLM to reply to some prompt to uh, in, you interact with him and you will generate some kind of prompt that will make it um, get some hard time, meaning uh, it will maybe try to, um, to, to compute something or to access internal resources 
um, especially like CPU, GPU time or whatever, um, and, um, and make it um, consume a lot of resources compared to maybe the, the cost uh, of the API call. It could also be applied uh, directly in general to um, even a website that actually have a chatbot that is maybe using like under the hood OpenAI ChatGPT and you you an attack a really simple attack could be to basically spam the chatbot which basically will uh, imply multiple API call to uh, to ChatGPT and uh, that will increase the bill of the the website so it could be something as simple uh, as that then was supply chain uh, vulnerability so um, again uh, in that case it's really um, it, it's a mix of multiple stuff it, it's basically the fact that you you might use some old version uh, you might use um, some um, let's take a look at that like attack scenario but um, expert vulnerable vulnerable Python library like your LLM will run most of the time using Python so there is maybe some some stuff to do with that um, trick developers via compromise PP packages and so on so it's more on the infrastructure that is running the LLM and you basically uh, interact with uh, with that sensitive information disclosure so it could be um, um both like as i mentioned the let's say the llm application also access to maybe the database of clients um, and you are able to via prompt access to um, tell him to access to the database and give you information that are not uh, supposed to be uh, leaked uh, except if it's you uh, so it could be something like that um, and it could also be um, based on the data is uh, trained. Like if you are doing fine tuning uh, and you are providing sensitive and private information, uh, you you might you are taking the risk of uh, him, the LLM, leaking uh, the information in in some way. Insecure plugin design, so it's uh, it's more um, generic to like application in in general. Uh, in that case, you you communicate with the um, with the LLM. Um, he might do a request like a like a SQL injection, uh, like a SQL command or whatever. Um, and if you have uh, some way to manipulate that, uh, it could definitely be something that is uh, that might even more happen in the future if uh, at some point you are able to uh, maybe get some uh, micro llm running on the client side let's say on a web assembly module for example uh, that will then uh, based on the what you are asking him um, uh, generate some kind of request and send that directly to the application uh, in that case you can of course manipulate uh, what have been generated uh, excessive agency i actually don't know what this one is uh, uh, vulnerability caused by over functionality excessive permission um, plugin function permission autonomy okay yeah so it's basically uh, llm that got access to uh, to too much stuff um, and yeah attack scenario personal assistant app with excessive permission and could be tricked via malicious email um, and, and so on. Okay, so yeah, it just like LLM with too much uh, access. It's kind of a, like an, have an API that will be uh, too uh, flex uh, and uh, that much permissive. Over reliance, uh, so uh, misinformation, legal issue, and so on, uh, is trusted to make critical decision. Let's say uh, you have a um, chatbot that will also, um, you are connected via like a 
corporate account to your let's say your bank account okay uh, you are on the on the website of your bank you have a chat uh, right there and uh, if you are uh, communicating with the chat um, just via communication with the chatbot you're able to do like a wire uh, to someone else um, that's the kind of stuff that should shouldn't happen and if you are I mean, if the chatbot is doing any mistake, it could be something really uh, important. So it's also in, in really, in, um, really important to keep in mind that um, it should be like, at least for the moment, uh, LNM should be used um, for the most basic stuff and, and nothing critical. And finally, model uh, tip. So it's uh, basically, especially if you are doing uh, fine tuning and customizing your own uh, model, um, it could be um, it could be really problematic if your model uh, actually leak uh, because again, sensitive data. If you are doing fine tuning, that means you are providing uh, some specific prompt and data and and private data um, to uh, customize it. So uh, if you leak that. Uh, you you might leak private information and uh, we already start to have some people that are doing like uh, reverse engineering on uh, model actually so uh, we we might get that in the in the future so then there is some key reference link but as i mentioned uh, you have some additional links for each vulnerability on um, on the on the pdf version so i really invite you to take a look at at that and uh, yeah let me know um, on the um, on the on the comments which kind of vulnerability uh, and vulnerability or attacks uh, you want me to um, take a look more uh, in deep I can already tell you that uh, I'm going to make a video about um, like prompt injection, uh, which is the, the most uh, famous one. Uh, but yeah, clearly, if you have some some example and if you uh, if you have one that is your your favorite, uh, let me know, and I will be really happy to uh, take a look and, and make additional video uh, about that. So some, thank you so much. Don't forget to to subscribe. Uh, I'm planning to release more uh, video. I mean. That's the that's the comeback after the summer, so we we're gonna get more video in the in the next months, so uh, please uh, stay tuned. Thank you.